Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Blue and today I got another banger video for y'all. I actually pulled red key card off of Blue Heart on reserve and that's just this raid. I didn't be like a complete about it to where like I got red key card and ran away as fast as I could. Like nah, like I stayed in. I did my best to like make a content video for y'all. Um, if y'all didn't know, that's a special way to get into Marked Room. I always beat people to it. Whenever I'm playing with friends, I beat people there all the time using that. Uh, and if y'all didn't know, Marked Room is a lot better. I think it's so much better that they've made Marked Room to where it's actually worth it to get. It made my favorite map preserve a lot more worth it to loot a lot more worth it to get the Marked Rooms. And overall, I think it's a really good change because the fact that this key that's supposed to be the best key in the game or the best keys on reserve like they don't spawn anything like that's complete bs but this raid very good um i'm i was really happy with marked room this raid i think it's a great key to get if y'all don't have it i enjoy getting it it's just a fun key overall to hit and uh before this wipe or before recently this update that they had it was not a fun key not worth it um, if y'all didn't know, I believe this is RBTB. That's the key that I just opened. And uh, there's always some suppressors, sights, all that good stuff in there. I, I like that room a lot. And it's right next to Mark, so it's kind of hard not to get or not to hit. Um, you can also jump back out these windows. I never like going out the front door because if you were to be watching Mark's room, where would you be watching? The front door, you know what I mean? Like, it just makes sense to make sure that you're not going through where the place that they're most likely going to be watching is. <clears throat> uh, for this part of the video, I'm just running over to school building slash uh, med building. I think that part of the map has more PvP and plus the original idea behind this raid was to hit every single marked room in uh, one raid and that was going to be the YouTube video so that's actually why I was filming um, in general before this and things just took a change and the video idea changed to well I just pulled red cards so I'm still going to hit the marked rooms and I'm going to hit red card and get out of here. So yeah, I was, uh, I was pretty happy about it, but here I just sped it up so you didn't have to sit here and watch me go through all the BS running that you have to do and escape from Tarkov and waiting for your stam to build up. As I'm running through here, I actually get shot at, and I'm pretty sure that it's clearly a Gluhar guard, but I wasn't 100% and I wanted to be sure by running um, into school building and seeing if they target me. Um, right here, I realized that they are in front of me and I need to move to not die. And uh, so I make it into school. Uh, I've come to the right to peek. You always want to peek right hand angles whenever you're fighting, you know, blue hard guards, raiders, anything like that. Another thing to keep in mind, so right here, whenever I get shot at, I realize that at that point that I am fighting blue hard. And he usually has one to two guards that will rush you no matter where you are. They will follow you. Uh, it doesn't matter how far you run, anything like that. And at this part of the raid, I was actually really confused. I went into a room and I started to rat a little bit because I was so confused on what I was hearing. And to add the com to the confusion, somebody actually turned on power. You can see power turn on here in a second. So I'm hearing all this running and then power turns on. So then I'm confused because am I hearing the person running at power? Am I not hearing the person running at power? very confusing so I back off a little bit because it sounds like he's getting closer to peek out realize that it is a QR guard knowing he's gonna peek me pre-fire get a free kill and now I know for sure I already knew for sure but now I really know for sure that there's glue hard guard and I'm a little bit nervous about the person below me coming up and flanking me so what I want to do is go check that and make sure nobody's running straight towards me because if he's actually good at the game he'll probably W key me and run straight at me uh, knowing that I want to kill Gluhar for the video, I knew that I should probably go check on that, make sure he's not pushing me from behind. So I run over here just to check. Once I realize that I don't hear him, I throw my bag down right there. I enjoy putting my bag there just because I tend to get it back on insurance if that does happen <clears throat> where I die. But this raid I actually was able to get back to my bag and attempt to take it out but yeah y'all will see if i make it out this raid I, I hope i make it out this raid i mean shit 45 mil to, uh, not 45 mil is a big difference so i'm excited for y'all to see what happens next so here i go back into my room. well first i try to get some information walk up there see if i can see anybody 
uh, I don't see anybody that time, so I run back down. I kind of just want to gather information because I don't want to end up getting myself killed over something that I shouldn't get myself killed over. So I always want to make sure I have all the information I can before I push. Of course, you know, sometimes you can't get all the information and you just have to push. But whenever you hear somebody and you're standing still, you know, it's, you got to get the information of where they're at. So right here, that's kind of what's happening. I start hearing some movement. I really can't distinguish if it's a PMC, if it's Luhar, one of his guards. Because in reality, I still think there's one guard that is going to push me. Because usually there tends to be two different guards. I hear a lot of movement right now. That's why you kind of see me tripping out. Um, I can't tell if it's in front of me, above me, below me. I, I literally cannot tell. It is just tripping me out completely. So that's kind of why I sped it up right here. Make it a little bit more enjoyable for y'all to watch. And anyways, with that being said, I hope y'all are enjoying the video. I know it's been a while. I know I haven't had that much content ideas. But I promise I will be coming out with more stuff. Right here, I see a little scab. Or actually, I think it was a raider guard. That would be the other guard that um, was gonna push me but didn't earlier. So now that I understood that that was a guard, I went up to check for others. And sure enough, Buhar right there. And you would not imagine what Guhar had on him today. Um, anyways, I go out, I want to clear everything just to make sure he doesn't have any guards right next to him because sometimes he definitely does. And you can for sure get caught lacking if you just go straight to looting. Um, uh, pro tip, close the door, then loot him. You'll see why it's so important to do that here in a second. Because... I'm looting him, right? And, and like, in retrospect, I definitely should have checked his pockets first. And, like, there's a lot of things I should have done first. Like, right here, like, you see me circling it. I'm, like, so excited. Maybe it's there. And then I'm like, what the heck, man? I was so hyped. I shouldn't even have searched it first. Shouldn't have done anything. That's pretty good. Anything but put it in my sick case. But, you know me, I'm a little bit of a child. And I had to look at it. I was just so hyped to maybe think that there's a key card in his uh, pockets. And sure enough, there was. Uh, now I want to pop a mule and look you could see the guy's arm. There's a freaking AI scab right through the door I didn't know or see him at all at this point You can see his arm sticking through the door I tried to run ran into him got shot almost died and killed him Tell me that was not the craziest sequence of events you've ever freaking seen like I just cannot believe that that happened. I was so nervous, so scared. I was scared that a guard was going to rush me. I did not know what to do. I was popping proper dolls. I was tripping right now because I have red key card on me. I don't want to die. Like, so many things going on in my head. I wanted to heal my arm, which, honestly, if you're in this situation, heal your thorax and head first and then heal your arm. Even though you have the propital uh, popped, you never want to not have your thorax and your head healed up all the way because that's much more important than a healed arm, if I'm being quite honest. That's just me though. I mean, everybody do your own thing, teach their own, all that good stuff. But yeah, I was I was really, really, really excited this raid. I'm using M80s and shit, so I will no longer be using M80s. Uh, considering after I make a little bit of bread, but we'll see if I make it out first. <clears throat> but yeah, anyways, just reloading my clips, healing myself up, making sure I'm good, making sure I'm not getting pushed by any more raiders. And at this point, I don't give a crap about anything else but getting out of this raid. Um, I go straight towards Extract, but on the way, you know, I'm a Chad, so I had to hit Marked Room and I had to hit KPRL, get that loot up, you know, not that funny, get that money, you know? Uh, so yeah, that's, this is just me going through here, clearing it out. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to die to somebody like ratting the, uh, what is it called? <laughs> the marked room. That was another guard and that really threw me off there too because what the heck is he doing there? So I wanted to loot him, make sure it was a guard, not a PMC, which it was a guard and not a PMC. Um, I, closed, I think I closed the door behind me. Yeah, so I closed the door behind me just to make sure. I got another, uh... Asa and then a G28, which you can never go wrong with that. A Genji chain. Um, like I said, these marked rooms are amazing. If y'all haven't gotten it, get it. It's fun to hit. Uh, you make, for sure, you make your money back. It's kind of hard to make your money back at points, but in my opinion, I think that it's much, much worth it. Right here, you see me getting the Asa in my butt and just making it to where the room worked better. And, it fit better. I, I wanted to get out, I'm not gonna lie. At this point I was like nervous. I wanted to get out. Killing AI scabs and stuff. I just wanna leave. 
I felt like that wasn't the right way to go and I hear a shot right here so I don't know what that shot was it wasn't at me nothing like that uh, but I'm gone dude I'm not messing with no AI scab to get headshot like that's just not the move right now I got a red key card on me uh, I gotta get out of here so I'm running up to dome and funny enough actually I forgot to bring my paracord this game so on top of everything I had to go to D2 and I'm realizing that about right now that I forgot paracord I don't have it on me I didn't find it so I'm gonna have to go down to D2 so what I end up doing is hitting KPRL because that's what a Chad would do right you know hit KPRL screw it even though I got red key card on me it's all about the shmoney baby <laughs> Nah, for real though, I uh, I had to get some con extra content for y'all since I pulled red key card and I wanted to post it just because this is something that I'll always remember and it'll be a part of my journey in YouTube and just journey in Tarkov in general. I've been playing this game for three and a half or two and a half years, three years I would say, give or take, uh, and I never found red key card. Also, quick thing on this, I've talked about it before in other videos, the looking through the wall glitch. I really don't feel bad for doing it, I don't feel like it's cheating, I don't feel like anything like that due to the fact of if you played back in the day, that glitch was in every single spot on reserve and they patched it, not once but twice, they patched other spots that weren't, um, that were able to be seen through and they didn't patch two spots and the two spots that they didn't patch were looking straight to D2 and that's really all you can see in those two spots so it's just kind of weird to me that they decided to patch that glitch but then leave two other spots it's almost like they left it like it's meant in the game meant to be in the game i don't know could be wrong but oh well i use it y'all can use it if you see it i don't think there's a problem but yeah so for the end of this video i'm kind of just heading to an extract nothing too crazy so i thought i'd use this time to talk about the channel i apologize for not posting for a month but you know how it is you know irl stuff gets in the way um on top of that i was getting a little burnt out of the game because it's end of wipe uh so yeah just a few things like that but hey i'm back uh if i don't post for a couple weeks or something expect a post coming and i'm going to try my best to keep these posts on a roll and uh keep them coming out for y'all uh but yeah until next time i appreciate y'all and everything y'all do for me all the love and support uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what y'all think about the video. Just let me know everything about it. So I, I love y'all. Thank you again. Peace, guys. Three victims were part of a CXS. Fucking right in the pussy.